Education, especially science education, is always in a difficult position. If you do some polls on the street, you will find that people have forgotten most of what they saw in class. And this is not just true with random people, but also with professionals like engineers, doctors, or, ironically, teachers. And yes, some of the knowledge is still there somewhere, but it will take many hours to bring it back again. Why does that happen? Is it just because people didn't pay attention? Well, not really. The truth is that people are just very bad at remembering passive situations. And if you think about it, you can see it in your own life. Think about activities like riding a bike or swimming. Are you going to forget those? No, you will remember them even after years of not using them. But now imagine if I just showed you some presentations, some slides, about how to ride that same bike, or how to swim, or if you have to read it in some instructions in a book. Chances are that you will have forgotten them in a few weeks. Here, in the Charming project, we are trying to improve education in chemical engineering, and making it more interactive was one of our main tools. Now, one way to do that is to have the students interact with the chemical processes virtually, using simulations. And this was my project. How to use this process simulation software, which already exists, and see if we can use it to teach students. I have looked at the technical aspect of how to connect this software and wanted to use new techniques to do that. And I have also looked at the implementation aspect of how to make students engage with the simulations and help them actually learn. This last part is what I think is most interesting to a general audience. So let me tell you a bit about the prototype we developed to teach students evaporation phenomena, what is called Raoult's law, which is the most basic case of vapor liquid equilibrium. Here you can see the prototype, and you can tell that it's quite simple, there are not many elements. And the graphics, although I do like them and I think they're quite charming, they're certainly not the best your graphics card can do. But despite being simple, you can see the kind of basic questions that a student has to get familiar with to really understand this topic, which they often don't. You can see evaporation and condensation of a single component, which is just water, and of two components, which is the mixture of water and air. And this system, which you see every day, has properties that students don't expect. For example, when you have pure water and it starts boiling, heating it more will not make it get hotter, which is very unintuitive. And also when you add air, the water will start evaporating sooner. And this is related with the humidity in the air, which has its own behavior. We have made the prototype open for use. So if you're a chemical engineering teacher, who lectures on a related subject, you can consider using it for your classes. We have tested it with students and they overwhelmingly liked it. And it also improved their performance in a test related with the subject, so it's definitely worth a try. You can find the link in the description and give it a try yourself. So what to take away from this? Activities stay in your memory longer than listening to a class or to a video like this one. So chances are that you will not remember much from this video after a few days. I think if you remember only that fact, then you will have learned the most. Thank you for listening.